everyone, it's Lori. Welcome back to Bizarre Studios. I'm glad to have you here with me. And today I'm working on some Christmas ornaments and I want to share them with you. This is my favorite one so far. I absolutely love this one. Actually, I had a whole bunch of favorites to be honest, but I did keep this one for myself because I made probably about 15 to 20 of them already and I uh, have them in a local gift shop here where I sell some of my art. To share this with you and show you the one that I have here in front of me and then I'm gonna make one and I'm gonna paint it and I'm gonna show you how I do that so let me give you a close-up of this one here is a close-up for you now I tie a ribbon at the top so it can be hung on a tree a wall or used as a gift tag to accompany a gift and I complete them by painting the sides and the back and then they get multiple coats of a nice gloss varnish I sell these on my website, pizzazzstudios.com. You can create custom orders in your own colors. Or if you are an artist and you're looking for the blanks with a hole at the top, I sell those as well. So thanks for joining me and enjoy today's video. I'm using colors that I've used in a prior pour. I did a tile video uh, probably a couple weeks ago now, I think. Um, four colors, just green and red and gold and white. So I'm doing the bloom techniques. So what I'm gonna use, um, this is about four inches in size, by the way. So I'm gonna use my house paint and put this down here. You don't need to do anything to this, but clean it. Um, I would recommend just cleaning it off quickly with maybe some rubbing alcohol and that's it. Just to take dirt and oil or anything like that off of it before you start painting. So this is my house paint that I mix with GAC. Oh, and a big glob of paint just fell in. I haven't painted probably in about a week when my uh, paint's been sitting. I had to give it a good stir. So excuse me for a second while I just take this out of there. That doesn't look very pleasant, does it? <laughs> That's all good. All right, now I have removed the dried clump of paint. I'm using this big cup, so sometimes it dries on the edges of the cup and sometimes that happens. Not a big deal, you just take it out. All right, so I put some paint down. I do cover the entire tile. This is the way I've been doing it. It works awesome for me, I love it. Of course, you can do other pours or other types of paintings on these. It doesn't have to be this technique. I think ring pours and things like that would look amazing on here. Whatever you feel that you would like. You know, it's your artwork. You do whatever you please. I'm just showing you how I'm creating mine this year. I'm getting all the sides here too. It's kind of an odd shape, so I take a little bit more time here to get all the, sh the sides um, covered here with paint. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna give this a spin, level this out a little bit. Now, I have this hole here, so I'm going to clean this out with my skewer. Now we're gonna start with our colors. Oh, by the way, if you would like to join my new Facebook group, and I'll leave a link for this as well down in the description box. And what it is, is artists that will come together from around the world that would wanna to work together and collaborating and, um, you know, meeting new artists, new making new friends, uh, creating wonderful pieces of art, because we all have different talents and special things that we're good at. And I feel if we come together and if we can make some amazing art that way. So if you'd like to join, please do come over and join the group. Like I said, I'll have that down in the description box as well. Just started the group, so we do have to work together and share it and get it out there and invite all your friends and fellow artists and whoever you think might be interested in it, we'd be very happy to have you. I'm gonna put a little bit of white here in the center. My first color is emerald green, and this is from Artist Loft. So I loved these colors so much when I did my other tile that I decided to do this on the ornament as well. Now the emerald green from Artist Loft is a translucent color. 
Now what I'm gonna put down is Liquitex Basics Cadmium Red, and this is medium hue. And this paint here is a semi, so semi-translucent, semi-opaque. The next one is Sap Green, and this is actually by Artist Loft as well. I think I'm gonna put just a little bit more, like a dash of the red on top of that green. And now I'm gonna have uh, Deco Art, the Extreme Sheen 24 karat gold. If you need any help with the bloom recipe, if you need help making the pouring medium and things like that, please see my video number 18. I show you how to make it. And then my video number 19 will also show you how to mix that pouring medium with your paints. So go back in my videos and look for those if you need some help with this technique. I'm gonna pop a couple air bubbles that I have right here. Okay, this looks really good. Now, I did make up a new cell activator today. So this is a nice fresh white cell activator. Australian Floetrol and Amsterdam's Titanium White. I'm gonna put this down right here in the center and then I'm gonna blow it out. So you'll have to excuse my head for just a second, please, while I put my head down there and blow this out. All right, pretty. I'm gonna blow a little bit on this white here. I had a little excess white here I wanted to try to get up. This looks amazing. Wow. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. And I love Christmas. I love Christmas. Christmas is my favorite time. I don't love all the commercialism. What I love about Christmas is all the, the you know, the meaning behind it, the true meaning of it. Not the commercialism, run around, where you spend all your money on gifts and <laughs> stuff like that. It's a joy of giving. It's kind of what I shoot for every day. This is one reason I make videos, to share. To share and to give back. Okay. Oh, this looks so, so pretty. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. <laughs> wow, I just love it. Now, what I did is I just touching up the sides a little bit. Come on. Well, right here it actually looks really neat. I was thinking I might blow that up a little bit, but I kind of like the white tips at the top and the bottom, but I'm not too sure. I'm not even sure I want to spin this because it looks pretty cool. Because I really like over here. I'm actually going to see, maybe I'll do a little bit of this. Let's see, I'm going to take a little paint off my mat and I'm just going to touch up here. Oh, pretty. The other Christmas tile, if you hadn't seen it yet, was my video number 102. I'll put a link to that too, is um, down in the description box for you. I'm just letting the cells uh, form a little bit more here, but it looks amazing. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little paint on the top, I've decided. So I'm gonna add a little red and green up there. I'm gonna use the translucent green. I think that'll look pretty up there. Add a little bit down here. Now I could spin this, but I don't think that would spread out enough to reach past that hole and everything to, to cover this little tip. So I figured I would just add a little paint. Now I'm gonna give it a little spin here and sort of spread this out a little bit. And I'm actually going to tip it just a tad towards me. And now I'm gonna give it a spin. Trying not to spin too, too hard. I just want to start getting the paint to flow off, but I don't want to lose the whole thing. So I didn't go too hard on the spinner. Oh, I'm really liking the way this came out. One more spin, I think.
All right, I am so happy with this. So when you're finished, clean off all the paint on the bottom of your tile because you're gonna get some stuff underneath there. You wanna wipe all that off. That'll keep the paint on the top of your tile because if you leave that under there, it pulls down the paint off the top. It'll distort your painting on the top of the tile. I take that all off. You could use a popsicle stick or whatever you're using in your studio or what have you to give it a clean cleaning underneath here. That looks amazing. Ah, amazing. And then when you add the, you know, ribbon to the top or however you want to do it, you can glue something on the back. You can glue ribbon on the back to hang it. But if you can't get someone you know, to drill holes or anything like that, and you don't even have to drill holes, what you can do is glue something on the back. See, I prefer the hole. That's my personal preference, so that's the way I do it. You don't have to do it that way. You do it any way you'd like. So, let me show you what I have here. I'm gonna bring you in for a nice close-up. Okay, here we go. Let me just bring my phone in a little bit closer, and I'll get you a nice close-up of all these gorgeous cells and everything. Let me get my phone to focus here. Okay, here we go. Isn't that beautiful? So pretty, especially with the shimmer of the gold in it. I just love that. I just love that, love that. I'm gonna give it a little spin for you. So let me know what you think. Are you gonna try these? Do you like the shape of these ornaments? Do you prefer round ornaments? Do you guys like ornaments, you know, with uh, dates on them and things like that. A lot of people buy ornaments that have like a year on it, you know, like 2021 or something. So they, they know when they, you know, when they bought it or whatever. But okay, thanks for joining me. I really appreciate it. Please remember, hit the like button if you found this useful. <laughs> if you enjoyed it and found it inspiring. I appreciate you for being here. Thank you and I'll see you again soon on the next video. Check out the Facebook group and everything else I mentioned down in the description box. Have an awesome day. Bye.